Welcome back, Tales of Arise. Uh, so, I bought like all the DLC. <laughs> Let me show off kind of like what we've got here. Uh, I didn't buy all of it, but I did buy a good bit of things. Um, it's pretty much just the outfit and a couple other things. Uh, just to show off, it's like the school uniforms for the guys and the swimsuit outfits. We also have the samurai outfits here. Too bulky for me. Um, swimsuits for Shion. School uniforms where he had. Uh, we also have the this little Mia's blood veil, which I actually do kind of like. But um, there's that. Uh, swimsuits again, and a little <laughs> idol outfit is what I call it. Uh, and Law's got his little shinobi outfit, so just to kind of show that off. Nothing too too insane. Uh, one of the other things, because I got their DLC, I got a bunch of the titles here. So, I unlocked a bunch of stuff and spent, like, all the SP I could for pretty much everything. Um, so, we also have some new arts set up. You can see here, I've got a, a different, like, setup type thing. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I end up liking this or not. Uh, ooh, chest. Oh, livestock that's reached maturity. That's cool. Yes, we will stay the night. I really don't remember what we're doing either. Are we not able to talk? Can't sleep. And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? It feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. Character development? I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up, too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kind of hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. But more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... Cow? Hmm? 
Anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. Are you okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. She's what worried. am I doing? I was wondering how long she was going to keep up that little act. Uh, there we go. I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from the golf for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? I know he said it's necessary, but are we sure Magal's plan is a good idea? I mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Magal is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. <laughs> the Potaru and Hoodle. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. All the skits. So let me ask you something, Rinwell. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <laughs> Not that owls are any better. Hmm? Poodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way, the more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! I mean, you can't mess with the hoodle. That it? I always forget that you can use the D-pad for, like, shortcuts. Like, for a bunch of stuff. Oh, we haven't, like, cleared. I completely forgot about this. Does that clear all that? It does. Ah, there we go. Much better. Much better.
Oh, um, can we? Uh, I was gonna see if we could check something out. Sorry to keep imposing on you. As far as the rest of society is concerned, you're an insurgent. Step back to Renevo. Are you worried about Kisara? Don't worry, I'm sure she'll understand someday. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Peace, yo. I'll open this chest for a treat. That's a good boy. I'm not just playing. This is training, honest. Uh, so one thing that was with the DLC um, that I'm going to show off. Well, I can't really show it off too much. Actually, I can. So uh, one thing was consumables. You can only have up to... I can't remember if it was 15 or not. Um, I can now go over 15 or whatever the limit is. So, um, you can see there. Oh, we got 99 sharp things. Eggs. Uh, I've also learned to not sell the weapons. I have been told to hold on to the weapons. So, that will be a thing that we do. Say we check back in on the ranch. We probably should check back in. Um, uh, there we go. Um, also, I want to manage some accessories, so I'm going to be right back as I do this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I only made Alpin one. I just gave him a warrior emblem. Uh, attack, attack, and some fire damage. Um, I was trying to do some reading up on, like, some of the better, like, art, uh, accessories. We really don't have access to a whole lot of them now. Um, one thing I also want to do... Yeah, okay. Maybe it's time I try on something new. We don't need to try anything there. Oops, don't want to do that either. Um, head to Vincent. How glad I am to see you. Wow, what's up? I have something to give Kisara, hmm. but she's a little hard to reach, so if you wouldn't mind... Uh, hmm? All right. Oh, right, because you'd have to approach the palace All to right. see her. Sure, we'll get it to her somehow. Thanks, I really appreciate it. As for the big plan, just wait for Zara. Uh, she'll deliver a message when it's right. time. Got it. We'll make sure to prepare in the meantime. Sorry to keep adding to your plate. Old bracelet. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Oh, uh, while we're here at the end, I want to look and see about some weapons. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Craft weapons. Uh, clay fragments we still don't have. Okay. We don't want to sell anything. To the palace we go, probably. I still also haven't done the training grounds. I need to do them at some point. Movement speed. Oh, hey, Kisara. You're just kind of chilling here, huh? Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. His hair was waving back and forth. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. 
And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person, too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? <laughs> what makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. All the trust. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. A lot of inn staying here, huh? We'll go to the ranch real quick. Now that that one cow, everything is out of sync. Finally. If only we could have flown... With the wind to get here faster. Oh, are all the... Oh, never mind. Guess we'll stay at the inn. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Oh, it's Zare! Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. That's a big note that was tied to her collar. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. I, I feel like we're prepared. Famous well, last words? This is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on the gall. Let's hurry to the quarry. Shout out to me pressing the wrong button. Please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Hold! Is that McGall? The traitor? Guards! Don't let him get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Are you gonna try to kill us? Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! That guy's definitely Enough. the evil person, right? He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Doalim. I have heard many a rumor about you. But, I suppose, we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. That guy's definitely evil. <laughs> Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall, Kisara. 
This man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. The gang's all together. I feel like it's early to get all the characters in this game. Although I guess they're not on our party yet. I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. <laughs> Oh, we defend her, uh, Kisara. Kisara's perk. Instead of a vein, Kisara prefers to guard with her shield and can even trigger some arts while guarding. Successfully guarding raises her morale, making any arts unleashed while guarding and any resulting combo stronger and harder to block. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? Ever since my first job as a guardsman, our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. She had a point. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks, the still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Hmm. We're gassing Magal. him up? Why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Okay. Well, that's a interesting thing. So... Uh... Oh, so we do have Kisaras. Okay. Um, so first things... Uh, we have that shield and we've got this old guard shield. Uh, I, I guess we should go with hair, so... Got our long... Got her ponytail. Her beach outfit. Got her glasses. Teacher glasses. Nia's ponytail. Uh, kind of like this ponytail. We got her guardsman armor. Samurai armor. Outfits for beach. Interesting pattern on the thighs there. Silent Assassin. Um, probably gonna go... Actually, I kind of just like her normal armor. 
Uh, okay, uh, weapon skin, we got her shield, like I was saying. Um, equipment. So her weapon is her actual shield. Okay, I guess we're gonna give you that. Uh, max HP, max HP probably works. Grid emblem, that also probably works. Yeah, we'll give you the Grid Emblem for now. Um, arts, you don't have like any of your arts on... Oh, never mind. Uh, skill panel. Okay, so she's got a lot of stuff here. Uh, Counter Edge. damage is always solid. There we go. Um, the question is, do we want to... level 27 as well, so we're all about the same levels, except for Rinwell. Somehow Rinwell's the only one that's not level 27, which is kind of odd. Uh, strategy. Uh, oh, okay. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll swap Law with, uh, Kisara for right now and see how that goes. Oh, this place is pretty big. Zoogles. Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Fine. As you wish. I noticed your shield just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it. Just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously, I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield whenever I like. Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that rare. So basically, there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Rinwell. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. I can understand why you'd be skeptical. However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination. Any more? 
does not look like it. I guess we'll take on these big big guys real quick. Get get at least one fight in. God, these things sure hit hard when it charges wow. at you. Let me see if I can help. I'll drive it back with this great shield. Kisara stacks her giant shield into, uh, into the earth and attacks enemies to protect Oz. If it hits it while well, it's, it'll down them, we can any subsequent charge attacks. This move boosts all allies' defense and elemental defense. Press left trigger and up to perform boost drive for the party member and who's not participating in the current battle. Oh. Tutorial start. If you're being charged, give me a shout. Right. Thanks for the help. Going in. Are those rockets? Yeah. Tiger blade, here I go. Go for the weak point. I'll stop its charge. Thanks, Kisara. They're all Um, okay. Uh, press the corresponding button. Tiger blade. Oh, did my controls change again? They did change again. Um, while charging enemy across. I probably should figure out like what I'm doing here. Okay, hurry up and charge at me. Hurry up and charge at me. Success! Fierce Guardian, when uh, Boars and other enemies try to charge at you, call in Kisara. Her boost attacks, ch uh, stop charging attacks, dead in the tracks, and weakens any subsequent attempts. It's so weird because I don't have the right. I'll stop your movement and I'll stop your life. Cool story. Unbreakable wall. Huh. You can change which character will fight in combat as well as who you wish to control their position to determine what uh, position to press their boost attack. Press left bumper, right bumper during combat to change who you control. Oh, that's neat. Pressing um, the squares button uh, will change battle semi auto. Yeah, we already know that. I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. Okay. All right, well, I think uh, that's where we're going to call it this episode. I've got to figure out why my controller keeps changing the button attacks and stuff like that, because it really throws me off when I'm sitting here trying to attack and I, uh, you know, am pressing the wrong one. So uh, I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, next episode, we uh, will finish up the quarry and figure out what's going on. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time.